All right, so today we had Brewers spring training day six, and Nathan Neovaldi would start out with a 1-2-3 in the first. Joe Ross would be on the mound for the Brew Crew. He would have a ground out, a walk, a strikeout, and another ground out. In the second inning, Nathan Neovaldi would go 1-2-3 once again. Bottom of the second, and Josh Smith would be hit by a pitch. Matt Duffy would hit a single. A wild pitch by Joe Ross would make it one to nothing Rangers. After Joe gave up that run, he would go one two three. Top of the third, and Oliver Dunn would fly out to left. After that, Eric Koss would hit a single. Brock Wilkin would hit an RBI double out to left, making it one to one. Then Nathan Neovaldi would retire South Relic and Jackson Churio. Bottom of the third, and Joe Ross would be out of the game. Elvis Piguero would be the new pitcher. Travis Jankowski would line out the short for the first out. Jared Walsh would hit a single out to center. Ezekiel Duran would ground out to third for the second out. Newly acquired Andrew Nincer would hit a double out to right, making it 2-1 Rangers. Josh Smith would be the third out on a ground out to short. Top of the fourth and Nathan Neovaldi would be out of the game. Owen White would be the new pitcher. Tyler Black would hit a single. Joey Weimer would fly out to left for the first out. Tyler Black would steal second base. Bryce Terang hit a single. For the second out, Joey Ortiz would pop up to first. Oliver Dunn would hit an RBI single, tying it up at two. Right after that, Eric Haas would hit an RBI double, making it 3-2 to Milwaukee. Brock Wilkin would be the third out. Abner Uribe would be coming in for Elvis Piguero. Uribe would strike out Matt Duffy. Derek Hill would hit a single to second. Sandro Fabian would be the second out. Blaine Krim would ground out to short for the third out. The Brewers would go 1-2-3 once again. Sam Carlson would come in for Abner Uribe. Sam would start by walking Travis Jankowski, and then a pass ball would get him to second. Jared Walsh would get out by a ground out to short. Ezekiel Duran would hit a double out to right, tying it up at three. And Andrew Nincer strikeout would be the second out. Josh Smith would hit an RBI double, making it four to three Rangers. Matt Duffy would get walked. Alex Degoti would replace Matt Duffy. Derek Hill would reach on an error, scoring Josh Smith, making it five to three Rangers. Defensive switches. Jose LeClerc would come in for Owen White. Joey Weimer would strike out. Bryce Terang would hit a triple out to right. Joey Ortiz hit a game-tying home run, and it looked like this. 2-2 two -two pitch, high fly ball, deep left field off the bat of Ortiz. This ball is way gone. A two-run shot we never even saw come down. It left the entire premises of Surprise Stadium. An absolute moonshot. Off the bat of Ortiz. And just like that. Oliver Dunn would hit a single, then he would steal second base. Eric Haas would get walked. Emiliano Tiero would replace Jose LeClerc. And Oliver Dunn was caught off of second base. Brock Wilkin would hit a single. Sal Friedlich would strike out. Chad Patrick would come in for Sam Carlson, plus other defensive replacements. Sandro Fabian would hit a single out to center. Then Blaine Krim would hit a flyout out to left. Elio Hernandez would hit a single out to right. Abi Melik Ortiz would get walked. Davis Wenzel would get walked, scoring in Sandro Fabian. Jake Polinchik would come in for Chad Patrick. Jonathan Ornayellis would strike out. Matt Waitley would get walked, scoring in Elia Hernandez, making it 7-5 Rangers. Alex Degoti would strike out. Diego Castillo would replace Emiliano Teodo. Jackson Churio would ground out, then Tyler Black would strike out. Joey Weimer would hit a single, then he'd be caught stealing. Tyler Wessner would come in for Jake Polinchik. Aaron Zavala would strike out. Josh Hatcher would ground out to first. Liam Hicks would replace Blaine Krim, then Liam would strike out. Liam Hicks would stay in the game, then Yeri Rodriguez would replace Diego Castillo. 
Yeri would go 1-2-3. Kevin Hergit would replace Tyler Wessner. Hergit would go 1-2-3 with two strikeouts. Mark Church would replace Yeri Rodriguez. Ramon Rodriguez would ground out to second for the first out. Chris Roller would get walked. Cooper Pratt would come in for Sal Freelick. Then Cooper would fly out to center. Juan Baez would replace Jackson Churio. The last chance came down to one, and he flew out to right field for the final out of the game. The Brewers perspective Brewers player of the game goes to Joey Ortiz with a two-run home run in the sixth inning. If you'd like what you see, hit like and subscribe and do it. Goodbye.